Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to this special edition of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch. It is that time of the week again to count down the 10 hottest cards of the week. You're going to see in today's video, the market does continue to spring back to life after a number of calm weeks, and I do think a lot of players are putting their resources towards Double Masters 2022 sealed product for a while. Now that that time has passed, we are starting to see people going back to the secondary market, putting their money towards singles. Quickly before we get into all the details though, just a fast reminder, if you go to FlipSideGaming.com, you can use the Heroes promo code to save 10% on orders over $10. Currently, you can pre-order Dominaria United products there. They also have a whole lot of other things on their website. Remember, if your order's over $100 or it consists only of singles, shipping will be free in the United States. Also, whenever you use the Heroes promo code, it does support the channel, which is always appreciated. So thank you, and without any further ado, let's get into it. Number 10 is Black Market Connections. This goes up to 38 this week to $20.03. That is a 13% increase. And this is a good time to let you know how we compile our top 10 every week. We look for two pieces of criteria. The first is a percentage increase in the value of the cards. And secondly, we want to see a true increase in the number of sales out there. So if you're expecting a card to be in the top 10 and it does not make it, well, then it fell short in one or both of those categories. But with that out of the way, let's talk more about Black Market Connections. This is from the Commander Legends Battle for Baldur's Gate Party Time Commander deck, and it does see playing fresh builds around cards from there. One being the front-facing commander, Nalia de Arniz. Also, you see this in builds around Barakos Party Leader, along with the background folk hero. But overall, this is just a very good commander card. It shows up in a lot of decks old and new now. For example, you see this many times in a Loro Ageless Ascetic. Also, there has been a lot of speculation that Slivers may return in Dominaria United or another upcoming set. More on that a little later in the video. This card could play well with them. Number 9 is Fable of the Mirror Breaker. This goes up to $245 this week to $16. That is an 18% increase. And this card is just all over the place, seeing play in multiple formats. In Standard, it's in Jeskai Control, Grixis, Vampires, and much more. High in ear, there's four of these in the Rakdos midrange deck, which is a very popular and successful build in the current meta. Also, it's in Rakdos Sacrifice, and more there. The main reason, though, it's as hot as it is this week is because of Modern. You see this in Archon of Cruelty builds, which have been gaining momentum and performing very well on MTGO. It's also in the Indomitable Creativity builds without Archon. It's in Glimpse Combo, Mono Red midrange as well there. In Legacy, yup, it shows up there too. It's in Painter, Mono Red Prison, and more. Plus, it is a solid commander card that is seeing even more play now in that format in a new build, Minsk and Boo Timeless Heroes. Number 8 is Squandered Resources. This goes up 389 this week to 29.35. That is a 15% increase. Like I said in the opening of the video, the market is moving again, and that does include reserve list cards. This one, though, does get some commander play in a variety of builds, including a new one, Nine Fingers Keen. Maybe this is the start of a targeted buyout, or maybe it's just a normal rebound because this card was losing value recently. Something to keep an eye on. Number 7 is Kalidus Trader of Gats. Of 460 this week to 3791, that is a 14% increase. This is another card found in those Pioneer Rakdos midrange decks. It's also in Demir midrange and more there. Legacy, you see this in Nick Fit. It also gets some commander play now in Edgar Markov and other decks in that format. As a matter of fact, it's been getting more play recently as an upgrade to Party Time, plus it's in fresh builds around Barakos Party Leader along with the background Folk Hero, and it can show up in Merkel Lord of Bones decks at times too. Number 6 is Razor Claw Bear. This goes up 635 this week to 5702, that is a 13% increase. Now we have an older card here that's yet to be reprinted. It can be tough to find in high grade online, and many players are interested in this now for a couple of reasons. For starters, some are building a Eula Queen among Bears Commander decks now because of the reprinting of Bearscape in the Pride Across the Multiverse Secret Layer. This is one of the more expensive Bears to get for those builds. Also, this has seen a little more Commander play recently in a new build. We'll soon refine Grizzly along with the background Master Chef. Number 5, Hopeful Initiate. The Innistrad Crimson Vow copy is up 239 to 599. That is a 66% increase. The Innistrad Double Feature copy is up 793 to 1013. That is a 360% increase. 
So as you can see, the double feature copy jumped aggressively. That's due to scarcity, though, at least compared to the Crimson Vow copy. I would imagine because of this jump, we'll get more copies into the marketplace pretty soon, and this should start to even out a little bit. We'll have to keep an eye on it. But I will tell you, this is a card that is seeing play in a lot of places. Typically, there's four copies of this in the very popular standard deck, Boros Aggro. It can also be found in Mono White Aggro and Orzhov Midrange there. In Pioneer, there's four copies of this in Mono White Humans, and that deck is gaining momentum. It's also in Bant Humans there. And beyond all that, this is another card that's getting additional Commander play around some new cards from Commander Legends Battle for Baldur's Gate. Lysel Vlakith's Champion, along with the background, Master Chef. Number four is Crescendo of War. This goes up 824 this week to 1575. That is a 110% increase. Here's another older card yet to be reprinted. It does get a little commander play and some different builds. Jumbo Commander did feature this as an underrated commander card in a YouTube short last week. And this week, Nitpicking Nerds featured this in a video about commander cards that overperform. Those videos may have brought some attention to this. Number three, Indomitable Creativity, up $8.97 this week to $18. That is a 99% increase. This is a popular card in Modern right now. It's been getting more play in this current meta. You do see this, of course, in its namesake build, but it's also in various Archon of Cruelty decks out there. Like we discussed when we looked at Fable of the Mirror Breaker, they're performing well and gaining popularity. This also gets a little commander play, too. Number two is Phyrexian Tribute. This goes up 1441 this week to 1741. That is a 480% increase if you're doing the math at home. It does see a little commander play, but this does look like a targeted reserve list buyout. Maybe the buyout is inspired by the return of Phyrexians and Dominaria United. Here's one card that's already been previewed, Evolve Sleeper. And there was also one card that was leaked that could play well with Phyrexian Tribute. Because it is a card leak, I'm not going to put it on the screen or go into too much detail. I know there's a lot of players out there that prefer to see the cards when they're officially previewed, and I do want to respect that. So I'll just pause a few seconds and then give you the name of the card. That way, if you don't want to hear the name, you can skip to the next card now. The card I'm referring to, if it is real, is called Shieldred Insidious Conqueror. And finally, coming in at number one is Liver Queen of 2901 to $323.94. That is a 10% increase. So this is a key sliver on the reserve list, and you might remember we mentioned this in a video a couple weeks ago. I had said that this was a card you might want to consider picking up because since earlier in the year, it did lose a fair amount of value. As you can see, this continues to rebound, and you know this isn't getting reprinted. So unless they find or have already found a stockpile of Stronghold cases somewhere, no new copies will be coming. Like I said earlier in the video, there has been speculation that slivers will return soon. But that speculation was furthered last week when a few Sliver cards were reprinted and sent out as the surprise cards along with some of the latest secret layers. When it comes to gameplay, this is sometimes used as a commander for Sliver builds. Other times it is part of the 99 for decks based around that tribe. And that's going to do it for our top 10 hot cards of the week. But remember to join us this weekend for our regular episode of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch, where we deep dive into everything that happens in the secondary market. Until then, hey, stay safe out there. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.